All right, Adam Crypto. Hmm. So as you can see, this is the Adam Crypto price right now is on the Cosmos network. What is the fuss about it? In this video, you're going to see, should you buy Adam Crypto? How to buy Adam Crypto? Is it a good investment? What does it stand for? It doesn't have a movement behind it. Should you hold it? How do, how do, or should you trade it and panic sell it and all of those things that you guys are into? All right, where can you buy it? We're gonna go over that. So keep watching, all right? First of all, to answer the couple of questions, where and how to buy it, we're gonna check that out real quick. You always wanna come to the actual home pages of these sites to keep yourself safe. It is scammers going around that can drain your wallets by you connecting your uh, wallets and your contract addresses to random sites like Reddit and Twitter and all of that fake stuff, okay? So what I want y'all to pay attention to, all right? In terms of, is it a good investment? On my channel, we talk about holding, the importance of holding cryptocurrencies and usages, but not just cryptocurrencies, holding investments that have long-term gains and potential, but instead of just sitting, selling and trading for a quick buck or a quick profit, you wanna be set up to where you make millions or even billions potentially in the future with your investments. If they're not even worth that, I don't even recommend, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get into them. I can't give investment advice. I wouldn't get into anything that doesn't have a potential of making millions in the long term, not just some 50, 20 bucks a day or something, right? All right, so this is the price. Okay, so now how do I decide the worth of a cryptocurrency or any business that I'm going to if I don't know too much about it? So you guys can use this strategy uh, if you're interested in investing into cryptocurrencies and you're trying to move fast because you don't want to be one of the last holders and have to spend too much. Okay, so this is the site. Like I said, you come here, you check it out. There's a, uh, a page that says Get Adam. All right, but we're about to read the white paper. All right, get Adam and stake. Before you begin, learn what Adam, what is the Adam token? What is staking? What is the wallet? So you can check this out if you're brand new or whatever. But if you're not, let's go over here to the white paper. So here's the Cosmos white paper, guys. I want you to take your time. If you're actually considering in investing into the Cosmos token, which is Adam Crypto, then you want to read about it. Any investment, if you're about to sign on the dotted line, if you were about to actually purchase assets or something, wouldn't you take your time and figure out the history of that company, what's the goal of that company and everything like that? You would, yes, you would. Or you would say the investment doesn't make sense to you. So it's the same thing, man. It's the same thing in crypto. Treat it as if, it's, as if you're purchasing or buying into a startup company. You need to know everything about it so you can kind of see the future of it, okay? All right, so now we're gonna to come to where I go to, okay? You can read the overall, I might link to this in the description or something, but you can always get to it. But what I want to show you guys is this, my favorite part, use cases. All right, if you know me by now, if you don't know, anyway. In the same way that Bitcoin is more secure by being a distributed, uh, distributed mass re replicated ledger, we can make exchanges less vulnerable to external and internal hacks by running it on the blockchain. Okay, yeah, it's been a lot of hacks lately. We call this a distributed exchange. What the cryptocurrency community calls a decentralized exchange today are based on something called atomic cross chains. All right, with an AXC transaction, two users on two different chains can make two transfer transactions that are committed to each other. I mean, to committed together on both ledgers or none at all. For example, two users can trade Bitcoins for Ether or any two coins on two different ledgers using AXC transactions, even though Bitcoin and Ethereum are not connected to each other. The benefit of running an exchange on AXC transactions is that neither users need to trust each other or the trade matching service. So this puts a lot of safety into it. That's cool, man. I like that. I like that. There's a little movement behind it. I'm still learning. Let's keep learning, guys. The downside is that both parties need to be online for the trade to occur. Okay. Another type of decentralized exchange is mass replicated distributed exchange that runs on its own blockchain. 
Users on this kind of exchange can submit a limit order and turn their com computer off. Ain't that crazy? And the trade can execute without the user being online. The blockchain matches and completes the trade on behalf of the trader. That's crazy. Because I was just thinking about something like this the other day. Like, how, how can we get things to work offline? That's when it's going to be extremely powerful. Cause, all right, so a centralized exchange can create a deep order book of limit orders and therefore attract more traders. Liquidity begets more liquidity in the exchange world. So um, there is a strong network effect in the exchange business. The current leader for cryptocurrency exchanges today is Polynex, Poly, Polynex, <laughs> whatever, I can't read today. Uh, bridging to other cryptocurrencies. In the case of Ethereum withdrawing tokens, you guys can come and check this out. I'm still not seeing too, 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 too much powerful usage cases that will make me want to invest in it. When I say usage cases, I need y'all to understand. I'm not just talking about the cryptocurrency world. I'm talking about mass adoption, implementation, all right? I'm talking about like how Flex is doing, how ACH is doing, where you, they're taking over countries, where you can buy things with them and stuff like that. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Are you going to invest into Adam cryptocurrency? What are you gonna do? 